Hello YouTube. Well, here in southwest Wisconsin, we've transitioned directly from winter into summer. Had the fire going in the shop last week, and uh, yesterday it was around 80 degrees, and it's supposed to be 80 or a little more the next couple days. So a little more gradual transition would have been preferable, but you know we take what we get. Anyway, now that it's finally fit to work outside, I'm putting my new headliner in the 1486. I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to do this. There are a couple of good videos out there on YouTube about how to do that better than I could make. So I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of what, I, glimpse of what I'm doing. I've got everything out of there now. And uh, what I'm left with now is the is the fun task of scraping all that old rotten uh, foam out of it. So I get to put on my uh, my breathing mask and my goggles and uh, put the hood up on my sweatshirt and uh, see how filthy I can get while I do that. I've already, a bunch of it already fell down. I've got the shop back here. I've cleaned some of it up. This, uh, this piece on the front I got it off, and it's in worse shape than I thought it was. It, uh, it's got some of the some of the screw holes here are broken out. It's got a couple of uh, couple of cracks in it. I think I'm just going to get a new one. Be done with that. Uh, the headliner, the new headliner itself, I got from Shoop. I ordered it from Shoop back uh, oh quite a while ago. I think when they had their New Year's sale, one of their big sales going on. I got a pre-molded one because I thought that would be easier to install. We'll uh, we'll see how easy it actually is. But anyway, I need to dress up in my PPE and get up in there and uh, remove all the nasty stuff. So uh, I'll give you a look at that when I'm done. I got it cleaned off pretty well. I think I'm about ready to hoist the new headliner up in there. See if I can get it in the right neighborhood and get it stay put. So, well, if I manage to do that, I'll bring you back. All right, I've got it in. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on video, but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's certainly a big improvement. Uh, I have this piece in front. I've got that ordered. I need to put that in when I get it. And then there's two uh, there's two trim pieces, one on each side. So those three things are the only things I've got left to put in here. So I'm going to park the tractor, and hopefully that will show up within the next week. And it'll only take me a few minutes to do this. I can't say that it was particularly easy but it wasn't ridiculously difficult either. I suspect if someone was uh, younger and a little more spry than I am, it would be uh, easier still. But anyway, I'm uh, done with this for right now. And uh, I'll give you a little sneak preview of one of my other projects coming up here before too long. So one of my projects this spring involves my Vermeer 605L round baler. You can tell I did I did some more shopping from Shoop when they had one of their sales earlier this year. That's a box of roller chains. There's a 10-foot roll of number 80 in there and two 10-foot rolls of double 60. I've got a couple of uh, sprockets on my baler that are getting pretty worn out and I need replacing. Okay, so I, I picked these up a while back too to make sure I'd have them on hand. And uh, so this is, this is a little bit of fun we get to have one day. I get to uh, get to take the round baler apart and throw some, throw some new parts at it. So that's about it for now from sunny 84 degree 
southwest Wisconsin, <laughs> where the for forecast high for four days from now is 46. Well, that's the way it goes. So tomorrow, I think I'll jump on the four-wheeler and go out and start checking some fences before the leaves get on too much and obstruct my vision. So, until next time, everyone out there have a good day.